So now we can move on with the next type of annotation. So again, we're going to go to the launch menu. And so um, as we've covered before, these are the different types of annotation tasks. And in general, one wants to move from left to right. I'm um, going, going from sort of more um, uh, coarse annotation to more fine annotation. Um, and so uh, we've now done, we've now completed all our species labeling that we want to do. So now we can move on to the AI species check. And so the idea with this workflow is we want to um, look at all the clusters where um, the AI disagrees with the labels we have for those clusters. Um, so that typically occurs in two cases. So the first case is where the cluster has been manually labeled um, and the AI disagrees with that label. And that can be cases where, um, you know, there can be human error. Um, so, you know, there's always inevitably some human error, so the AI helps you find that. Or cases where um, perhaps you've only annotated a cluster as a pairing category like antelope or something like that. And the AI believes it knows which particular species it is. It will still then recommend to you what particular, you know, that it's an impala or something, and you can decide whether you agree with that um, or not. Um, the, the other um, situation where there tends to be disagreement is where um, the AI um, suspects there are multiple species in a cluster. So what we actually do with our, our um, species classifiers, we only let it identify a single species in a cluster automatically, although it is able to identify multiple species. So the idea is, um, the vast majority of our users' data, and we're talking 99% plus, um, is always single species clusters. So um, to you know, err on the side of high precision, um, to make sure that we don't make mistakes, we actually only allow the, cl the classifier, if it's confident, to automatically identify a single species, the most numerous species in a cluster. And if it believes there is um, another species in that cluster, it then must rather just highlight it to be manually checked in this workflow. So as a result of all this, um, it's, not, it's not compulsory um, to do the AI species check, but it is strongly recommended um, as it will help just refine your data set, both in terms of improving and cleaning up your human annotation, but then also actually um, allowing the AI to, to find the, the multi-species clusters or show you the, the multi-species clusters. Um, so that's basically what we're wanting to do here. Um, yeah, the, uh, the last thing I'm, I'm wanting to just highlight there is, is the fact that in general, um, with this workflow, we do want to err on the side of caution. So in general, um, our confidence thresholds and what have you with the classifier are significantly reduced just to make sure we don't miss anything. Um, so in general, you will see um, a lot more sort of mistakes from the AI, but that's in intended. And that's why it's here. We want, you know, we want the AI to um, work in that mode when we're working together with a human, essentially here. So that's the basic idea. So now that we've selected the AI species check, um, we can look at the other options. Again, you can set your batch size and leave that as the default. Um, and then next, you can select your annotation level. And basically, you can't do this task on different. Uh, for a particular species, you can just do it across your entire data set. So there's no options there. And you can see we just need to um, perform this task before we just need to check 56 clusters. Um, so they'll be quite quick and easy. So there's nothing to select there. We simply click launch. And as usual, um, the annotation set is going to initialize and then we can start annotating when it's ready. All right, it's now launched so we can continue. We're just gonna go to the jobs page and as usual. Just take a job. So now we can see the interface. And so basically um, what we've got is a cluster as before with all the images. Um, and then on the left, we've got the labels currently associated with the, um, with the cluster and then the suggested AI labels, um, as well as a, a bit of a score there out of one. And so, um, basically, our options are to either accept that label. So accept, it will accept the label, obviously. And so if, if you don't have any related label in, the, um, in, in your, your, la your current labels, it'll just add the label. 
Um, but if you, in this case, you've got now the parent category primate and it's suggested baboon, um, except will actually overwrite or automatically overwrite, overwrite the parent category with the child label. So it'll neatly handle that for you. So, and even if there are multiple species, um, for instance, if you've got um, porcupine and jackal, um, and it's suggested labels black backed, black, black backed jackal, it'll automatically just replace the jackal uh, parent category. So it handles all of that neatly. Reject is just outright um, reject. Um, and then uh, overwrite, just no matter what labels are on there at the moment, you just overwrite it with the new label. And then other is if you, um, if neither of the labels are correct, so you can go either, I mean other, and then you now have your full set of labels. You can go perhaps go antelope and then select breed buck, you know. And then obviously as usual, you can go back with the tilde key. Um, and as you can see, it's now labeled as breed buck. And obviously it's supposed to be a baboon. And so that's, that's all you have to do. So you're just going to go, we're going to go through and check the, those clusters quite quickly. So in this case, um, I'm just going to use my keys. Accept, that's correct. Uh, that is a baboon. That is a baboon. Um, that is a warthog. Double checking that, that there, so we're just continually accepting. Okay, so this now is um, the one, one other thing we didn't see in that first cluster is uh, what happens if the AI suspects multiple species. And so basically, now you can see it suggested a whole bunch of different ones, and then we can actually, um, it's the, currently the, the highlighted one is the one we're responding to. So is it a mongoose? No. So I'm going to reject that. Now it says white tailed mongoose? mongoose? No, reject. Is it a Celis mongoose? No, reject. Um, that? No, 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 no. Monkey? Yes. Accept. And now that's um, labeled as monkey. Um, so we go and I suggest it is nothing. So we reject that. That is indeed a kudu. Accept. Uh, Brownina accept, uh, baboon uh, accept, and so basically um, the AI never labeled these in the first place because what it was, you know, reasonably confident that these this was, for instance, a baboon, but not confident enough for us to actually automatically label it, um, which is then why it was left to human annotation, where it was just labeled as primate, and now we're correcting it to baboon. Um, accept, accept. Accept, 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 accept. And we're done. And now we're just going to wait for it to refresh and um, wrap up, and we're done. And then we move on to the next task.